Hey everyone, it's Isabel. So, I didn't vlog at all today. Um, today was really hard and weird. I had a headache, so I slept in pretty late today. And I woke up terrified to go on social media um, and look at the news because I knew today was going to be bad. And I knew today was going to be scary um, based on the fact that last night, um, <laughs> you know, Warnock was... Warnock won and Asif was leading. Um, so I knew today was going to be bad and I already had expectations that today was going to be bad. Um, but then when I woke up and I went online and saw what was happening, it was absolutely hor horrifying. Um, I honestly like, it's, I'm like, can't talk right now. I posted something on my Instagram and um, I'm going to post it on my Facebook tomorrow. But I'm going to insert my post because it is way too hard to talk about how I feel. It is way easier to write it out. Um, so I'm going to insert that right now. Okay, so yeah, that's how I feel. That's, I, I don't have anything else to say other than that. Um, watching more and more evidence and things come up, how they found zip ties on people. Um, like, bags of zip ties and they were holding zip ties they were planning to keep hostages um and they those people who stormed the capital went with the intent to hurt people they did and, and it's just awful and those people who stormed the capital are domestic terrorists and that's just it that's the fact and um what happened today was horrific and horrible and in no way can you compare this to the protests we've seen over the summer because it's completely different and I feel as though I cannot explain that the best way. Um, I've seen people who explain it the best way. So if you want to go to my Instagram or um, I, I posted, reposted a lot of my story about people who did explain it a great way. But it is nowhere near the same. And it is so different. Just the fact that I disagree with the violence we saw when it came to BLM as well. However, I understood where that came from based on the fact that for for years and years and years, they peaceful protest and nothing was being done for them. And I understand where some of that violence can come from. Also, it was shown that the 7% that did turn violent for BLM was in fact, they were they were not part of the organization they were not part of the protest they were they were doing it to destroy the movement and thing to make it look bad um today what happened today people went with the full intent to storm that capital because you wouldn't bring zip ties and guns and weapons to a protest if you were going there to be peaceful i'm not saying everyone who went today did not ha go with the intent or did go went with the intent of not being peaceful i'm sure some people did go with the intent to be peaceful but those people who went today went with the intent and stand with that same side and went with the intent of not being peaceful. And that is the blatant difference. And I don't know how to explain this very well, but what I said in my post, I stand by and I will stand by. Um, I feel like today it was just very hard to take in and maybe in the next few days I will take a minute and talk about how I feel once I get <laughs> my mind wrapped around it. But my head is just so overwhelming with everything. Um, and terrifying um yeah that's it i'm not i can't explain any further but what happened today was awful and uh, it's terrible and should never happen and has not happened our capital has not been stormed for over 200 years the last time it was stormed it was done by uh uk so it's just absolutely awful and horrific and I honestly don't care what anyone has to say if they get mad at me for speaking out on this because um, if you support this or defend what happened today, um, don't want you in my life and it's harsh but it's true. It's just if you're defending this action solely just talking about this action as a whole, if you support the action that was made today, which now four people are dead from, then unfriend me unfollow me i don't care but that is horrible and that's just it and i said that in my post and i hope people have the time to read that but i don't have a big platform and that is fine but i need to use my platform as little as it is 
to say and do the right thing and stand up for what I believe in. Um, this what happened today was horrific and terrible and just dis disgraceful and awful. And um, obviously I wasn't going to vlog today and this wasn't going to be a good vlog because we do need to talk about what happened today. Because it's not just a move on type of thing. This is going down in history books. And it's very clear how it's going to go down in history books. So that's it. I hope you all had a good day or took this day um, with as much as you could. As much... <laughs> I hope you can wrap your head around this day. And I, do you understand why some conservatives are upset that Trump lost and they are completely entitled to their opinion and they are entitled to those feelings that they're upset that he lost, but reacting in the way that was shown today was absolutely horrific. And if you support that, it's it's like, those are two different things fully. You're allowed to be upset that your candidate didn't win, fully allowed to do that. Like that is your opinion, that is your feelings. You're entitled to your feelings and your opinion. You have the right to the way you feel. But if you support what happened today, then that's different. But that's it. Um, I hope everyone could wrap around their, their heads around this in the best way and took today the best way and is not too stressed and tense about it because I've been nothing but tense since I've woken up. Um, that's it. So I'm going to go to sleep now. Hopefully get some sleep. That's it. I hope um, everyone has a better few days and hope things get better and we'll talk about this in a future notice eventually that's it i'm gonna go to bed um and i'll see you tomorrow bye good night from isabel